Hey everyone, it is Friday, April 27th. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I've gotten a few emails and text messages from friends, everybody saying, hey, you need to do something on um, spouses, you know, um, the conflict that's created when you got people both trying to work and do schoolwork and homeschool and everything. And so I'm no expert. I'm just going to say that. I know what I tell my clients, I know what I do in marriage therapy with people, but sometimes it's like, do as I say, not as I do. So I'm saying that to admit it's a struggle for us at home. Uh, my wife works from home. Um, I go into an office, but now I am doing both. I'm going to an office and doing some sessions in person, also doing video and film, but I'm also working from home, doing some therapy work via video, and then doing some of my other work at home as well. And then my kids are doing homeschooling. So I have to say and be honest, my wife, um, is bearing the brunt of the homeschooling, literally doing all of it, because <clears throat> I'm gone most of the day. And then normally when I'm gone most of the day and she works from home, she's already bearing the brunt mostly of like the household um, duties, you know, doctor's appointments, uh, paying the bills, um, running errands for kids, lots of, she does lots of things. I can't name them all. Okay. So I'm saying to say like, I'm no expert and this is a struggle for everybody. And it's something that comes up in counseling a lot. But something I've been thinking a lot about and that her and I have talked about and I've talked to couples about is this. I mean, something you can do is I think it's helpful if a couple is um, able to every morning or sometime during the day sit down and say, okay, here's the schedule for the day. Here's what we're looking at. Here's what I have to do. Um, what do you need to do? Here's what the kids have to do. So that one, it's being communicated, right? There's no surprises. Um, then two, they can communicate what they need to get done and ask for help in certain areas so the expectations are clear um, and there's not some sense of resentment that, um, you know, you're not helping. So I think if you can do that daily, that's good. I think it's a little easier to do daily right now because everyone's kind of um, at home together. I think when you're not in this situation, it's helpful to do that, if not daily, at least once a week. I know a lot of couples, um, just highly successful couples who probably once a week they sit down, they look at their calendar for the week. They look at all the moving pieces, they communicate what's on each of their plates, what's on their kids' plates, and then they divvy up responsibilities, they set expectations, and then if things kind of go crazy during the week, they ask for help, right? And they communicate help. Um, and so I think right now, um, something that I would like to work on, and something you could work on is, if possible, uh, five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, sit down at the beginning of the day and say, hey, what's on your plate? What do you need to do? What's important to you? Um, what's something you want to do? What do you need to do to take care of yourself physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually? And then, hey, here's what I need to do today. Here's what's important to me. Here's how I take care of myself emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. Okay, what's on the kids' plates today? So get all that out there and then ask each other, hey, how can we support each other in this? Um, what's unique about this day that's different about other days, for example, because it could change tomorrow. Um, and then how do we come alongside and, and bear the... Um, shared household responsibilities of um, not only the homeschooling, but running errands and chores and et cetera, et cetera. And it's going to be messy. It just is. Um, it's not perfect. Um, relationships, whether you're married or dating or whatever the situation, right, is a work in progress. Um, but I think conflict's high for a lot of people right now. Um, and a lot of people, I know conflict is super high and they're not really actually talking about it. Things are just kind of brewing under the surface and, and stewing. And then that what happens is that creates resentment. And then that's the couple who comes and sees me and says, you know, five years ago, we should have come to counseling because this was happening, you know. So I could have seen a scenario where a year from now, three years from now, I'm sitting in my office and people are like, remember when COVID-19 happened? Well, this is what was going on, but we just never talked about it. So get that out there. And, you know, you can have this conversation with your kids too. Hey, what's on your plate today? What do you want to do? What do you need help with? How can I support you? Here's some things you can do to help support us too, you know, some of the chores and errands. So... Again, I think it just comes down to open communication, setting expectations, being aware of what's on everyone's plate, being aware of what's important to everybody, making sure that everyone is um, taking care of themselves and thriving because the more that we are able to individually take care of each other, then we're in a better place to emotionally regulate our emotions and ourselves and show up and be present with people around us. So it benefits me, right, if I know it's on my wife's plate and I can help support her and her goals because then she's able to show up and be more present in relationship to me and then vice versa. So, you know, it's about being in relationship and supporting one another ultimately. I wish I had some really great magic bullet tips to help there, but I think it's just going to be messy. And starting to have those conversations is the most critical piece. So 
Anyways, hope this is helpful. I'm aware of as I shoot some of these videos, there's some, um, my son would say, some glitch in some of the video, but I'm doing the best I can and not getting overwhelmed or overcomplicated with the technical aspects of it, but just pushing the content out. So hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good weekend and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.